Hi guys, it's Lori from Lori's channel and I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. This time I found a bunch of Halloween stuff, which we'll get into first. Okay, I found these little spiders. I'm going to do a craft. I'm going to think I'm going to try to make a wreath with the purple spiders. And I got this purple um, mesh. It says six inches by five yards. And I already had before hauled a circle wreath. And then I got some of this purple mesh too. And I got some of this purple, it says tinsel stems, but I call them cleaner, pipe cleaners. And I'm going to try to make a wreath with these items. I don't know how, but I'm thinking I'm going to record it when I do it. But I got these to make a wreath. And then I saw this cute little bunny ears. It comes with the bunny ears, the bow, and the little tail for like a Playboy bunny. And then this cute little cat one with the cat, with the little bow, the cat ears, and a little cat tail. Because you know I'm a crazy cat lady. So we're going to, me and my daughter... Maybe not this Halloween, because who knows if there's going to be a Halloween, but next Halloween, well, even this Halloween, maybe, who knows? I don't know. It's all up in the air right now, but got little Halloween um, stuff. Then I also got two of the Halloween little squishy toys, that you, stress relievers. My daughter liked the ghost, and I, of course, like the little black cat. It says they're squishy toys. I just thought they were so cute. Then we got a scarf, a Halloween scarf. It's an infinity scarf, so it's the one that you can wear all kinds of different ways. You could put on like this, like this, or you can do something like this. There's all different kind of ways. I don't know exactly all the ways right now. That I could think of, but something like this for Halloween, something cute and little to wear to work. Maybe sometimes I paint my face like a zombie when I go to work. I've done that a few times. I wear cat ears, paint my nose black, but then it takes forever for me to get the little black stain off my nose days later. Then we also saw these cute little masks from the Dollar Tree. They're very cute. My daughter, one year she was in a quinceanera and she had to make a little mask for her get up no that's not what it was for I'm lying she was in her eighth grade her eighth grade luncheon and they had to make themselves masks and she made herself a half pink and half black mask and we went to to um Michael's or Joanne Fabrics I don't remember which one because that was like seven years ago and maybe even longer than seven years ago and we had to make a mask and it cost me the pink paint, it cost me for the mask, it cost me for the black paint, it cost me for the black roses, it cost me for the black diamonds. Look, it's already made here. Very pretty. Her friends Quinceanera, they also wore masks, but I think her friends supplied them. Then I also bought this one for Day of the Dead, but when I took it out of the bag, my flower fell off. Let's see, this one's pretty too. But my flower fell off, I have to hot glue it back on here. It's the only bad thing about the Dollar Tree. Sometimes things don't always last very long. But I have hot glue and I have the flowers, so I'm just going to hot glue it back on. But I thought this one was super pretty too. Then I bought myself for the window a cute little cat, of course, because I'm a crazy cat lady. Cute. My cute little Mew Mews. As you see Phoebe up there looking out the window. See her? She likes to look out the window. And then we bought some caution tape to put on around our house. We like to put this around the porch and stuff. I think I did it last year too, but probably don't have it still from last year. I might just have a little bit left. I don't know. But anyways, it was a dollar. And it says keep out. Keep out. And then I got this plastic spider web bowl, which you can do a lot of things with. My sister actually spray paints these different colors and glues those um, candlestick things to this. 
she makes all kinds of fun little decorations. She is a really good crafter and she crafts this to something else. But I just bought it just to put it in the middle of the thing. Maybe put my fruit in here for Halloween season, whatever. Okay, and then I found these cute little zip bags. I'm thinking maybe I'll make I'll make a little gift, a little Halloween trick-or-treating thing for everybody at work. There's 28 employees where I work and this is 30 pieces, so I just have to buy a little couple of candies and put them in there and voila. Then moving from that, I also got a little um, candle thing. You put a candle in here. It says happy Halloween and it has little cats on it. See the little cat? I can't put a real candle in there because I have cats and they like to sniff things and then they'll have no whiskers. But that. And then I bought a bag of bones, which is kind of cute. Just laid on the top of the counter by the TV. With my other little bone figures I bought last year from the dollar store, which are little, little bone rats and a little bone cat, I think. I'll put all there on Halloween. I have lots of Halloween decorations already. And I haven't taken them out since I moved here for four years. And they're just sitting in the thing. I have to go down there one day, make the time, and organize all the other Halloween decorations I have. Then I saw this and it was so cute. It says per, per a normal activity. Like, per, darn it. Per, I can't say the word. Anyways, that's what it says. And it has a little cat on it. I just thought it was cute. You know me and cats. I'm crazy. Then, okay, we're moving from Halloween. We're going to move to, to beauty and hair. I bought another one of these because I love them. I wish more came on the pack, but for a quarter, literally a quarter a piece, because there's four on here and it's a dollar, so it's a quarter a piece. It's not bad, but they work very well and I like them and I don't want to lose them, so I bought me a backup. And then my daughter wanted these scrunchies because she says scrunchies are better for your hair than um, those regular, the regular black ones or whatever color you buy. <laughs> so we got these. Then um, I bought this for my daughter. I bought her last time in the last haul, the little pieces that you put like to stop the pimples from coming. <coughs> Hold on, I need to drink something. <laughs> the little pimples from coming and she, mm -hmm. she um, used it last night actually. And she said, mom, that worked. My pimple is almost gone, look. And I was like, oh, cool. So we saw the foaming facial acne wash, the foaming acne scrub. And we bought it for her. Hopefully it works just as good as the little the little things. Oh, it has expiration date on it. 3-28-2023. Huh. Cool. So hopefully this works for her just like the little dots did. Then I found the Spa Life Apricot Face and Body Scrub. I had the Cucumber one before, and now I found the Apricot one. I Googled Spa Life, and I Googled the Cucumber Melon one, and it was $25 on their website. I, had not, I have not Googled this one, but it's the same exact box and the same exact look. So I'm probably pretty sure this is also $25 on the Spa Life website. I wish I can find more. I only found one. Christmas gifts or something. Then I saw these and they look super cute. It says it's an emergency candle, but I think you can probably use it for anything. Put it on your table for a little romantic dinner or something. I think that'll be cute. I wonder what color they are. Let's see. Let's open it and find out. Let's see how this works. Does it come with the batteries? Who knows? I don't know. Let's see. Well, it doesn't come with the batteries, so I'd have to go get some batteries first, which I have. I have some batteries in my junk drawer. But, yeah. I wonder what color those. 